Today I'm going to be talking about Ian Dior's upcoming album. Now I know it's been a long time since I've made any videos on Ian Dior, Poor Stacy, Internet Money, and I know it's been a long time and I'm sorry. I'm working on kind of getting back into like a lot more artists and stuff, but I do have a main reason why I haven't talked about Ian lately. It's just because there is no news on him. Now I have quite a bit of news for this one video, but I've also been saving up a lot of information that we've been getting over the months, the last few weeks, so it's definitely taken some time to even be able to get enough news to make this video alone. And yeah, there's just really been nothing since I'm gone even released. Ian's been very silent on social media. He doesn't really show snips. He doesn't go live. He doesn't really post anything unless it's about some kind of concert or brand deal. Uh, ever since Mood dropped and just started doing really good, he hasn't really talked about anything like specifically. Now, uh, last couple days, or like I said, last couple weeks, there is a lot more news. And I have like, I think everything that I could find in this video. So I'm going to break it all down in this video. But that's just what I wanted to say. So let's just hop on into it. Obviously, like I said, the last thing Ian has dropped, or like I guess the big drop, was Mood. It's his biggest song, it's 24K Golden's biggest song, and there's actually going to be a remix to it dropping sometime late October or early November. 24K Golden actually confirmed this himself. Because you're, you're at a top spot on the billboard. We, we're number six right now on the billboard. We got a couple number ones around the world, but it's time for the remix, so I can't say too much now. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy remix. That's all I'm gonna say. Is there like a time frame we could expect that to come? Um, probably late October, early November. And he doesn't say who's on the song, but we know it's Kid Leroy because Kid Leroy has previewed his snippet or part of the song multiple times. But yeah, you can find it on Instagram. Now, there is a rumor that they're going to kick Ian off of the original version, and that's just going to be 24K Golden and Leroy on the remix. I don't know how true that is. There might be all three of them on there, but I just kind of want to let you guys know that. But yeah, let's actually start breaking into the news for Ian's new album. So some of the earliest stuff he actually started tweeting about the album after I'm Gone dropped was in July, which makes sense. It was like a month after the EP came out. And that's something I did get wrong with a lot of my old videos on I'm Gone. I was always under the impression that it was an album because that's how a lot of platforms were promoting it. And I know a lot of platforms, or at least some of them, will mess stuff up like a mixtape and an album. Like Trippy Red's A Love Letter To You series isn't albums, they're mixtapes, but on Apple Music and stuff it says album. Well, usually it'll say when it's an EP and an album, and on Apple Music, which is what I use, it was saying that I'm Gone was an album, so that's kind of where that confusion came from, but I guess just nine songs wouldn't be a big album, especially when like three of those were singles prior. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this album is supposed to be coming out in 2020. I want to say it is, but I also have a feeling it could get pushed back to 2021 just because of touring and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure, but... But I could also see it coming out in 2020, which would be awesome. Industry Plant dropped in November of 2019, so this could drop November or December. But anyways, let's start getting into these tweets. So Ian tweeted out on July 15th, do you guys want more rock music? I feel like uh, I did see something a while ago. I might have talked about this in an older video where one of the viewers told me about this. But Ian's label is really pushing for rock ian and i think it's because sick and tired performed so well and now with his feature on nothing inside on mgk's album i uh, i feel like that album going number one and selling over 100k first week his label is definitely going to be pushing for rock uh ian and just punk rock music which is my least favorite type of music from ian i don't think it's bad but it's just i prefer like the original like nothing's ever good enough or even industry plant uh, i prefer both of those better than like i'm gone after i've had time to really listen to all those projects and there's also a new Ian feature that dropped. It's called, like, Ego. Uh, that also is, like, Rock Ian. So I just feel like a lot of the stuff he has coming out now is, like, Punk Rock, Rock Ian. So I'm not entirely sure what what's going to happen with that. But, yeah, there is that. So if you guys do enjoy Rock Ian, there's definitely going to be some kind of Punk Rock on there. But anyways, later the same day, Ian also tweeted there will be sad boy hours on the album. This is basically confirming nothing's ever good enough type Ian songs are going to be on the album, which is what I was just saying. That's the kind of Ian I like. I'm going to be more excited to hear something like that than like the sick and tired type songs, but... Either way, I like Ian's music, so I'm going to be excited for the project regardless. All right, now moving on, there's this one rap page that wrote like an article or just a little bit, uh, like a little story about Ian, 
and it said number one on Billboard's Emerging Artist Chart this week. Who's ready for new music from Ian Dior soon? Hashtag holding on. So this is basically confirming Ian is going to be dropping something new, which I'm obviously it's going to be a single. I, if none of the, well none of the songs on I'm Gone are going to be on the album, so there's got to be a lead single to the project. So I'm assuming it's going to be some either punk rock or sad Ian song with a feature on it. That's usually just the best way to start promoting something is drop a feature for like the lead single. They kind of did that with uh, I'm Gone. They dropped Good Day and then they dropped Sick and Tired. And then we kind of have seen that with like Trippy for Pegasus. He dropped Excitement with Party Next Door. It's just a thing where artists kind of drop songs with a feature on it to kind of start hyping up the album for like the first single this doesn't always happen but i'm pretty sure that's what ian's gonna do but i could also be wrong about that but yeah so we definitely have new music coming soon i don't know how accurate this is because this already was a couple weeks ago and also ian was supposed to drop i'm gone in like april or march and we didn't even get it till june so i would definitely say like just take this with a grain of salt but it's something that we've heard about the album and then there's also this screenshot of Ian. He actually posted this post on Instagram saying, so what should I call my album? And poor Stacy responded, commenting, what about our album, bro? So basically, uh, this just confirmed that Stacy and Ian have some kind of project in the works. I remember back at, like in the internet money days for Ian and Stacy when they were working with Taz, uh, people would always ask Taz if they were going to do an EP together, and he said they had plenty of songs to drop an EP together. We know of a couple leaked songs they have together, like Fall Back, Waiting for Tonight, and then they have like I Can't Sleep, Yourself. Uh, those are officially released, and they've definitely got more songs in the vault, so we'll just have to wait and see, but... Uh, I don't know if we're officially going to get a project of these two. It would be really cool to see whether it's rock or rap or whatever it was. It would be cool to see them kind of go on to uh, a project together and just see like a World on Drugs type of album with Ian and Stacey. I think that'd be really cool. But also stuff I've learned from making Juice videos and stuff is almost every rapper says they have a collab project on like together that never really gets dropped. Now, I mean, some of the Juice stuff is understandable, like the Thug and Juice album or the Ski and Juice album. Who knows if those are ever going to come out? But there's also rumors that Trippy and Juice had an album together, which I've never heard anything official. It's just a rumor. So, I mean, it's just kind of a thing that, like, r artists have projects together. Uh, I feel like Ian and Stacey, though, they're such a close duo, and they, were, they came up from the same place with internet money that... I feel like this would definitely be one of the more likely outcomes that could happen, but I don't think that's what Ian's next album is. But if we are going to get that, I still think it's going to be a ways out. Now, some of the newest news we have to talk about is just a couple days ago. This basically confirms something I said back in the beginning of the video, how I wanted Nothing's Ever Good Enough stuff to come out, and Ian said something about Sad Boy Hours being on the album. He tweeted out Nothing's Ever Good Enough. This is basically confirming what I just said, that we are going to get some kind of slow or just OG Ian vibe songs on the new album, which is going to be awesome. I feel like that's what a lot of people are going to want to hear, especially after getting a project like I'm Gone that isn't bad. It's just a lot different styles of Ian, which I mean, also I think is good. I think he wanted to get that out of the way. So we had stuff like punk rock, sad music, and then some like rapping songs, like just different vibes of songs I feel like he wanted to get out on that project so that moving forward it's like no matter what style he does now it's not like a shock to anyone and now the last little bit of news we have about the album I obviously saved this for last because it's one of the only things directly like talking about the album Ian tweeted on Twitter wasn't ghosting you guys album is 60% finished he tweeted this the same time he tweeted the nothing's ever good enough thing so if the album is 60% finished, and this is as of a couple days ago, as the time this video is even getting released, like maybe a week ago, a little longer at most. So if we're only 60% done with the album and we're already midway or almost halfway through October, I don't know if we're getting the album in 2020. I mean, I feel like Ian would drop an album every single year. It's just I'm Gone fell so late into the year. And it wasn't even like that it was a big EP, but just it fell so late into the year, like the midway point of the year, that I feel like it pushed the album back a bit, which, like I said, I don't think it's like anything like, it's nothing like bad. I'm Gone's not a bad project. It's definitely my least favorite now out of the three Ian has out, but it's not bad by any means. But I definitely think I'm going to like this new album a lot more than I'm Gone. So it sucks, but I just, I have a feeling that we're going to get it sometime in 2021 when artists can tour again and... Well, if it's only 60% done, it still has 40% to go. So we're really just going to have to wait and see like what's going to happen. 
Now, I would normally break down like a track list or something like that, but we literally have no news about this album other than what I just broke down. I don't really know any specific track list, album name, artwork, anything to go off of. And the only thing I've really seen about the track list, which I don't know if it has any truth to it at all, were fans talking in one of the comment sections to Ian's Twitter saying something about dropping Fall Apart with Kid Leroy or Changes, whatever you want to call it, and then someone saying that one of them confirmed it was on Ian's album. And the song actually later did leak, and it is definitely Ian's song. So if this does end up on Ian's next project, that is like the only song that, to my knowledge, that we know of that is 100% going to be on the album. But even at that, I don't even know if it's 100% on there because I haven't seen Ian or Leroy say anything specifically about the song. I know they've previewed it a few times and it's a fan favorite song. I know it leaked, so I guess we'll just see what happens with it. But that's really all there is for Ian news. So yeah, it's been about five months. I haven't made an Ian video and this is all there really was to break down. So I hope you guys can kind of see why I haven't been making Ian videos lately. It's just because there's really nothing to do. So this will probably be the last like news Ian video for a while because we're just gonna have to wait a bit again before we get more news. But I could definitely make a video on some other topic about Ian or anything like that. But I just wanted to let you guys know why I haven't really been making Ian videos and why I also haven't been making like Stacy videos. I mean, I enjoy Stacy and I like his new, uh, like those two songs that leaked or he leaked on his SoundCloud, I Don't Rap. I like his rap music. I just don't really enjoy the rock a lot. I mean, I definitely don't mind it. I think The Breakfast Club has some good songs on it, but... Uh, other than that, it's nothing that like I'm a huge fan of. I know he dropped the deluxe to the album and everything, but yeah, it's just nothing that I really feel like there's a point in talking about until we get some more like confirmation or news about anything. But anyways, that is all for the video. If you guys are new here, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can go follow me on Twitter at Complex Discuss if you want to stay updated with me and the channel and everything going on. I've been tweeting out a lot of stuff over the last couple of weeks over there, so just go check that out. Also, go check out my SoundCloud link to this stuff is in the description down below. Anyways, with all this being said, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.